Hey friend, welcome. I'm Jen. I'm a part-time online clothing reseller and what that means is I take items from the thrift store or yard sales and I sell them for a profit, hopefully, online on eBay and Poshmark. Today I have four items that I am shipping out for a gross sales amount of $127.32. I have something very exciting uh, that we'll get to soon. Um, I like to talk about sell-through rate because I think that that's really important. And so we'll hear a lot about sell-through rate. You want to stay to the end to hear my total profit for the day. This was just a one-day sale yesterday. I ship first thing in the morning, yesterday sales, and go through the day. This is the North Face. Um, overall, I don't have much luck with the North Face, but this is... I don't know there was something cool about it it's a really kind of funky material I wish I could wish I knew what the material was called or how to explain it to you but it's just a long sleeve men's button-up uh, men's button-up North Face shirts have an average sale price of $16.59 and a sell through rate of 13% which that's not right. <laughs> it's not very good at all. Uh, my buyer paid $30 and 60 cents. They paid, I don't know, I think it was 15 plus shipping. That, that doesn't seem quite right. They paid quite a lot in shipping because I live in the Midwest and yeah, they live in California. And for some reason it costs so much money to ship to California. I am putting it in a padded flat rate, which is going to save me a little bit of money. Um, yeah. Uh, I completely lost my train of thought. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, so my buyer paid $30.60. I have my cost of goods as zero for this, so I don't know if it had a stain on it or something. Sometimes um, if I buy something, and I find that it has a stain, I'll put a zero cost of goods if I'm averaging out my um, my cost of goods for that trip or that day or whatever. Um, and then if I get it out, then I kind of have like a free item. I did buy this at my favorite thrift store, which is, I do stuff like that more often. I also buy things that I know aren't going to sell for a lot of money, like the North Face. I don't know what it is. like. North Face is expensive, but it is oversaturated on eBay, and I, I don't know. There, there's just, if I know that there are some pieces that sell for a lot of money. I would think like down coats, like puffer coats, um, but other than that, definitely not the fleeces. There are some fleeces, but I don't know the difference or why. Um, I think there's some vintage stuff that will sell really well. Like I said, I'm sending this in a padded flat rate. It is, uh, you know, saving me a couple dollars on shipping. I'm fine with that. I don't feel like that's, I do calculated shipping on eBay. It has worked really well for me so far. I've been doing this for about two years. And this is um, like a long dress jumper. I, call, I said jumper in the thing. It doesn't, it is handmade. Uh, so it's plaid, it has this little snowman applique and this little birdhouse applique. Um, probably vintage just because of the style of it. Um, I think I put modest in the title uh, just because this is a style that, you know, someone would put like a turtleneck underneath and wear as a, as a modest dress. So if I look, when I looked up on Terapeak, um, I think it was vintage handmade applique dress. So not necessarily Christmas themed like this one. Um, it was a $40 average sell through rate or average sell price, but a 2% sell through rate. <laughs> so um, I think you have to really um, market to what the specific thing is. Watch out. Uh-oh. Okay. Thanks, bud. <laughs> the sun has made a uh, wand out of clay and is casting on some people. Okay. Mine sold for $28.75. Not bad. I did buy this in Chicago just about a month ago, and 
I spent $5 on it. That was probably a lot, but I was struggling to find something in Chicago. <laughs> and I had I'd taken my daughter, uh, my oldest daughter to Chicago for her birthday trip when she turned 16. And uh, we needed just a little shopping trip. And uh, she was like, I'll give you one. <laughs> so we actually went to a couple thrift stores that were I would say more like consignment or they might have even been buy sell trade I don't know exactly um, but the lowest prices I saw in there were uh, like $100 <laughs> so it's definitely not it was more like very high-end um, yeah if I was looking for high-end things to buy for myself that would have been a great place to go but that wasn't what I was going for did I tell you all the information the profit was like $13, which is fine. It took two months to, no, just one month to sell. Which is pretty good. I mean, it's the right time. In fact, I spent all day yesterday ship, um, thrifting. Went to three different thrift stores in my town. I was going to go to a fourth, but I had so much stuff and I was like tired <laughs> uh, that I didn't go to the fourth. So uh, I was thinking about doing a thrift haul and was curious what you thought. Would you like to see a thrift haul from me? Kind of trying to reinvent my little YouTube, uh, my little YouTube channel here, since you know the first part of it, I went through and just kind of vlog style chronicled my journey of reselling, and now I'm doing this, and I really like this. So this is was really really exciting for me. I mean like. I was so excited when I found it. I went on a um, a work trip with my husband and turned, you know, the trip for me, he was, he was working. And so I was working. And so we were in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, downtown. There were so many thrift stores downtown. It was great. I went to so many just within walking distance of our hotel. I spent so much time like at the lake, walking around my feet were hurting so bad uh and then uh one day then I kind of drove out to the suburbs and and did like a driving thing of of thrift stores so it I found some really fun stuff I found you know things that I had never found before this was actually at a store called Retique so it was kind of like re and then, you know, like boutique. So R-E-T-I-Q-U-E. -E. And I didn't realize it until I was in the store. But it was actually a Goodwill. <laughs> uh, but they had a lot of like St. John, um, a lot of higher end stuff, but it was all priced kind of like, like all the St. John was like $50. And so I, I saw some really cool things, um, but I didn't buy very much. I did. I do like your wand. I did buy a pair of Athleta pants that were brand new. Um, I forget what the name of them were, but I ended up selling them for, I think, $60. Um, so this, the reason I was so excited <clears throat> is it has a 100% sell-through rate. Like a legitimate 100% sell-through rate. <laughs> there were none listed and four sold, yes. We can talk about it when I'm done. Um, so this is the brand Wool and Prince. Oh goodness, sorry. My there we go. Wool and Prince, and it's merino wool, and it's just like a base layer. So merino wool, wool and prince, Henley. So this has buttons, um, like a quarter of the way down. That's called a Henley. And that has a 100% sell-through rate and an average sale price of $43.60. So some people will say 100% sell-through rate is the same amount of items sold as items listed. I don't say that. I say that that's a 50% sell-through rate because mathematically you should take the um, amount that has sold and divide it by the total amount that has been available in the last 90 days, which is how eBay does it. That's how Terapeak um, 
calculates theirs. So that's the total amount sold plus what is listed. Okay. I'm not saying that to be like, oh, everyone else is wrong. I don't care how everybody else does it. I just want you to understand how I'm calculating sell through rate so that you know. Okay. So this mine sold for $44.97, which is right on. I uh, did see one sold comp for like $55. So that's how I priced mine. I did have a couple like low ball $25 offers or whatever. This did kind of get caught in my 30% off sale that I ran on Halloween. And so it was kind of like at the tail end of that um, from yesterday morning. Um, but I'm super pleased with $44.97. I did pay $8 for it because, you know, that's a really good selfie rate. And even, even if I was, you know, going to sell it for $30, I still think, you know, it seems like it would have been a guaranteed quick flip. It was not very quick. It was three months, which isn't horrible. It's not great also. Paid $8 for it at that Goodwill Boutique in Milwaukee, and my profit's $22.98, which is decent. What's that? I mean, almost three times my money. Sure. So one of the things I really like about this business is the return on investment. It's pretty good. All right, so... This next thing I actually sold on Poshmark. I do try to sell on Poshmark, but I don't do a great job of it. <laughs> so this is, um, it's not branded. It doesn't have like any tags in it. I did say it was Y2K and vintage because it's definitely that style. Oh, it does have a tag in it. It just says accessories made in China. I don't know what that number is. Okay, anyway. It felt like there was like dirt in the bottom of this. Okay, so it's just this little handmade bag, purse. Uh, yeah, very Y2K kind of style. It does have this Madras patchwork plaid print on it. I was kind of curious what Madras plaid meant. <laughs> so I looked it up just now. And Madras actually has to do not with the print. I thought it was the print, uh, but it's actually the fabric and the fabric has to be made in this certain city in India. So, but I think um, we tend to use it now to mean that kind of that patch, patchwork kind of tartan plaid. Look. So anyway, <laughs> um, when I looked up Madras plaid purse in therapy, had a 10% sell through rate and an average sale price of $21.71. This sold for $23 on Poshmark percent. And I have a 40 cent cost of goods into it because I did buy it at my favorite thrift store. If you've not seen my, my videos before. My favorite thrift store kind of has a perpetual bag sale. So my cost of goods is very low. My profit uh, sold in three months. My profit was $15.98, which is great. That's, you know, kind of the minimum I'm shooting for. So saw I barely eked that out today, but just for my, the cost of my time, I think that $15 is the profit margin. Not, that's not a profit margin, but that's the profit number that I'm kind of looking to shoot for. For most of my items, there are exceptions to that rule. So my total profit today was $28.60. So my goal daily is $67, right about, so that I can hit a monthly goal of 2000 So that's a great start to November. <laughs> I'm pleased with that. Thanks for hanging out with me. Make sure you give me a like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you soon.